Hey everyone and welcome back to another GT Online video. Today I want to go over the newswire they released along with Tuesday's update because they do give us some info on what's to come in the weeks ahead. So the first thing, the Buffalo EVX, which is that electric Dodge Charger that was shown off in promotional images for the DLC, that's actually coming out next week and it's likely this will be a vehicle like the 300R where it's only available for one week. That's what I'm predicting anyways, just based on what they've done in the past. But even so, this is going to be a vehicle that has both a Monitech and HSW, so it might be one of the best free one vehicles in the game once this drops. In the and more section of that same newswire, they talk about what events we can expect this summer, and more specifically, some dynamic events. And very happy to say that armored truck robberies are coming back to the game. They took these out a few years ago now, I can't remember the exact update it was, but I know it's been a long time. And they were definitely a fan favorite free mode event, or random event. So it'll be interesting to see if they changed how they work, or if they changed their payout at all, or if they're just going to keep them the exact same as they were before, where you basically just go up to the back of the truck, sticky bomb it, grab the bags, and dip. There's also going to be a large scale battle on Kyo Perico that we will be able to take part in in just a few weeks. This probably sounds a lot cooler than it actually is, it's probably just an adversary mode. It would be cool if we can like have a battle there in free mode, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Or even cooler if there was like a free mode event, and it would work kind of like the free mode events in Red Dead do, where it would just like notify you that, hey, this is starting soon, you can participate by accepting the invite or pressing right D-pad, like you do for Hunt the Beast. And then when the event starts, it takes all the participants, all the people who press right on the D-pad, to Kaya Perico, and you have like a large-scale battle, it's like a co-op event, that would be cool too. Just you have a giant group of players trying to take down waves of AI, that'd be fun. But it's most likely just an adversary mode. Either way, I'm all for having more content in Kaya Perico. I do wish we could have our own deathmatches there. You know, a deathmatch inside the compound would be a lot of fun. This might be some sort of motor wars on Kaya Perico type thing, or maybe something else entirely. But that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, just those things from the newswire about what to expect soon. And I'm very excited for the new electric charger coming next week. I'll be making a guide on it when it does come out because it is an Amiotech vehicle. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GT Online content. I'm planning on having out my Raiju guide tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.